Hi, it's me, Jody Hand, Mrs. Hand Painted, and today's video is one of a series of eight paintings that you can do, some mini landscapes. I'm going to show you how to do each one of these in one of the eight videos that I'm sharing with you. All of the videos are separate, so this video will only show one of the paintings. I'm going to be doing painting number five. You can do this on one 9x12 sheet of paper. I have this set up to do eight different paintings that are all two and a half inches by 3.75 inches. So you can also do them on these small little pads from Legion Paper Stonehenge. You can get these from um, lots of different retailers, but I purchased mine from Jerry's Artorama and they have them in their Buy It, Try It deals if they're in stock. <laughs> Uh, I'll put a link for that in my description as well so that you can look those up. But these are the exact size of all of the rectangles on my paper and you can fit eight on one 9 by 12 sheet of paper. Make sure you check out the other seven videos so that you can do all eight landscapes on your paper. And if you want to share... We're going to start out this one the same way we've started our other four, was wetting our entire rectangle with our largest round brush. I'm going to do the sky first and I'm using, um, I believe this is cerulean or any kind of a, a bright colored but cool blue. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to blot out some clouds just by picking up the wet paint with the corner of my paper towel, just dabbing that in a random fashion. Right now I'm taking, this is some Prussian blue and I'm making kind of my horizon line of where the edge of the ocean is going to be. And it did bleed a little bit. I wanted it to be fuzzy, but we don't want it to bleed too much. So if you have a little bit too much water pulling up there, you can take the corner of your paper towel and dab that. Or as I'm doing here is I'm just wiping off my brush on my paper towel and then picking up some of that extra paint that bled a little bit too much on the side there. And then I'm just taking some of that Prussian blue and I'm just putting some strokes across very loosely for the ocean. And you can leave some white space in there. I'm actually gonna take my paper towel and just dab that up where it's going into my sky a little bit too much. And then you do wanna have a little bit of lighter colors and color variation in your ocean. You don't want that to be a solid block of blue. So if you wanna lift some of that up as well, if you get a little too much, and then I'm gonna dry that so I can move on to my next step. And I'm gonna go back over that with some more of that Prussian blue just to kind of um, give my horizon line a little better. Sorry, I had a little fuzz on my painting. And then I'm just going back and forth with some smooth strokes and then kind of some smudges here just to give some variation in what would be the illusion of waves and give that ocean some texture. Really, there's no real particular way to do this, just kind of putting that color in there and you can kind of go at an angle a little bit so that we're showing our beach going off into the distance and you could blur that edge so that it's not so sharp and make that a little more fuzzy with a damp brush. I just want to give the illusion of waves in the ocean. Then I'm going to lift up some color with my damp brush that's clean just off the edges just to give the illusion of waves and just to lighten up a few spots and add in a little bit of variation. I have a bunch of fuzz that keeps coming off of my bristles. I have to keep picking off. We have a cat, so his hair floats everywhere, I swear. And I have two toddlers, so, you know, our house is never clean. <laughs> All right, now that I have kind of a smudgy edge, I'm gonna take some yellow ochre for my beach. I'm just putting that color in on the edge. And it's okay if that bleeds into my blue just a little bit and kind of blur that edge of where the sand would be going in with the water. And then I'm just blending that in with some water. I'm not adding any new pigment. I just want that to be very pale tan color and that Daniel Smith yellow ochre is really good for that. I'm gonna go ahead and dry that now.
Right now I'm switching to my dagger brush and I'm going to put some grasses in my beach. And it's kind of hard to tell because this is painting is so small and my hand kind of blocks the camera out. Sorry about that. But I'm just doing some very quick strokes with the tip of that brush. And you can go with a little bit more pressure at the base and then lift up. So you're going with a lighter pressure as you go up to the top so that you have thin blades of grass. And I'm just going to do some here in the corner of just where the beach would be. I'm not going to go all the way across, just that one little area. And now I have a really simple little beach landscape. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the other seven, I do have them in the playlist. There are seven more landscapes that you can do in this mini landscape series. And you can follow me on Instagram, Mrs. Hand Painted.